Well, let's ask a Hong Kong legislator for information and technology, Sin Chong Kai. He served as a member of the Legislative Council and he's well known as an advocate for Hong Kong as a leading digital city. And he joins me now. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Now, do you think that Thank Google you. has made the right decision to pull out of China and use Hong Kong for the search engine? Surely, I think this is an excellent move. I think uh, international companies like Google should not compromise with the censorship uh, if, if meaning China. I, I actually urge other internet service companies or global companies, uh, you know, follow suit with uh, Google. And in fact, I think Google is a very good example. We appreciate it, and I think you know. Uh, you know, internet services or internet is, uh, you know, uh, a free flow of information. Uh, global companies should not compromise. And Google set a good example for the rest of the other companies to follow. So Hong Kong welcomes Google's move to work out of Hong Kong and feels very comfortable that it's done this. Yes, of course. I think Hong Kong is still under one country, two systems. Mm. Hong Kong will not have any sort of uh, censorships. You know, if any company is based in China, they face censorship problems or censorship issues, they're welcome to be, lo to be relocated in Hong Kong. Hong Kong has a lot of, you know, uh, 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 facilities to accommodate their services. I don't think, you know, any Hong Kong can, can, will, will hinder any of these uh, moves. Now, as the special administrative region... We appreciate actually Google's... Sorry, as the special well, administrative I think Hong region... Kong is, uh, could I just ask, could, could China bring any pressure on you to bear on Hong Kong not to allow Google to operate in such a way? Well, even though I think they, they wanted to, I think, you know, under the one country, two systems, Hong Kong is operating in a, an autonomous regions. Mm. In fact, you know, the, logos, the, le the legal system of Hong Kong uh, that uh, do not actually, does not actually empower the government to actually give pressures to these companies located in Hong Kong. So I don't think you know uh, international company like Google or even uh, Yahoo or other companies uh, will have any problem of uh, censoring and uh, need to censor or you know, need to follow any regulations in mainland China. Hong Kong is still a free society. So no. I think you know uh, Google is a good move. Now, we've heard um, that Tom Online in, in China has already pulled out of Google, and obviously there is the hope uh, that the Chinese government have that uh, Baidu will take over. Would you urge uh, companies in China to stick with Google? I think, uh, of course, you know, uh, the, real, the real situation is in mainland China, there are, there are actually increasing number of people, they are learning how to jump the firewall, that mm. is by by passing the firewall uh, built up by the government, uh, so as to you know uh, uh, have access to the international services. So even though China, even though Google moved to Hong Kong, I think you know there are hundreds of internet users, millions and millions of uh, internet users. They will they will continue to use a free a service which is entirely free. So I don't think you know uh, 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 Google you should be afraid of competition from the mainland China. In fact, I think. This move will actually will trigger, you know, a more free society in mainland China. You know, I, at the end of the day, I think Baidu or other other company, they need to actually to push the government to 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 lessen their censorships. Sin Chong Kai, thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning.